Hi folks, welcome back. Mercedes AMG C63 Black Edition. This is a proper unusual car and a proper cool bit of kit. So we have installed an absolutely stonking hi-fi system in here. Let's take you and show you. So first of all, the customer requested that we soundproofed everything. So we've soundproofed everything. The work that's gone into these doors to get them that dead is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's a three layer system in here. So we've managed to get the Hertz Melee seven inch woofer in the bottom of the door. Um, with these Mercs, the um, regulator panel is actually riveted on. So you have to drill all the rivets out to get that regulator panel out and order the proper rivets from Mercedes. They're a very specific fit. You need a special rivet gun to put them in actually. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of work in there. Now we wanted to keep the tweeter behind the original grill, but we couldn't do it. The reason being the factory tweeter actually sits quite nicely angled behind the factory grill. So although the factory grill looks flat, the tweeter's sitting an angle behind it. So it's, it's on axis ish. But as soon as you put a tweeter this side behind, it has to sit completely flat and that just wasn't gonna work for us. So we fabricated this kind of funky little tweeter build here and trimmed all that in Alcantara to match the seats and stuff or the seat centers. So that's pretty cool. So we've got a Melee seven inch woofer. We've got a Melee tweeter. Fantastic set of components. It's a two way in these cars, not a three way. Um, that you could do in a later car with the, the front woofers, etc. Look at that, we've got Apple CarPlay in here. So this car definitely should not have Apple CarPlay, but it has, and we've added it. We've got a fantastic picture on that screen. And we've taken audio output from the Apple CarPlay module and we route that directly into our DSP. That's how we often do it in cars like this. So rather than route the CarPlay back through the hedge unit, we get loads of loss. We bring it directly into the DSP. It's an analog source, but actually it sounds surprisingly good. We've also, put in a uh, digital interface to route the audio from the factory system back into the DSP, which is also done, or sorry, that is done optically, so digitally in other words. So we've got two sources in here. So we've got the Apple CarPlay all working from the factory controller. So as you can see, we can scroll around and click on stuff. This is our master volume control. All the speakers in the car are driven by the Audison Forza 12 channel amplifier. So we've upgraded everything. So we've, we've got the front components. We've also put rear components in here, which would be Audison Voce. And we've also done the rear effect speakers as well. So we're utilizing all 12 channels of amplification. Plus we put a monoblock in to run our subwoofer. Now we have soundproofed, as I said, every inch of this car. It's been a huge task, an awful lot of work, and it's taken us well over a week to carry out this installation. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. Michael, our customer, wanted something with some real kick. So in the boot here, we've gone for one of our favorite subs, which is the JL Audio Invisible 13 inch subwoofer. Now when I say invisible, it's not truly invisible. It's just hidden down here. So there's the build that we put together for that. So you've got the 13 inch subwoofer in a custom enclosure. You've got the two amplifiers down there. Uh, the base passes through the cardboard panel and into the cabin incredibly well. Real punchy base and real fantastic lows. I mean, obviously the punchy base is massively helped by the fact that you've got a seven inch woofer in the front door. So there you go, a pretty funky car with an incredibly funky audio system. The only thing that, the only visible change is the melee tweeters, but I think you'd have to agree, they are pretty classy and getting them out from behind those panels just massively improves their performance. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, maybe give us a little follow. The more followers we've got, the better. And the more likes we've got, we've got the better. Everybody wants some recognition for their work. Thanks very much for watching.